layout of a proof, the right triangle proof. All right, so as I always do, we're going to take a step back and see what we've got here, and then we'll zoom in and look at each part. We have our drawing, as we should, above our proof table. On our proof table, we have our statements on the left and our reasons on the right. We have our given, which is our evidence, and we have our prove, the thing we're trying to prove. So let's take a closer look at the drawing. What I've done is I've color-coded the angles to make the proof table a little easier to understand. So, angle A is green, angle B is red, and angle C is brown. And I'm having trouble with my focus here. Uh, okay, let's take a look at the given. The given says triangle ABC is a right triangle and its angle C is 90 degrees. So, angle ABC is a right triangle and angle C is 90 degrees. And we see the little box there that tells us it's a right angle and that it's 90 degrees. Okay, and what we're trying to prove is that angle A and angle B are complementary. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we've got is that triangle ABC is a right triangle. That's given. So that's right up there. So the next thing we did, because we know that it's a right triangle is, we've said, well, if it's a right triangle and it's a triangle, then angle A and angle B and angle C must equal 180 degrees. It's a triangle, right? Our reasoning for that is the angle sum theorem of a triangle. And that says the sum of the measure of the interior angles of a triangle are equal 180 degrees. So we use that as our interim step before stating that angle C is 90 degrees, which is given. And our reasoning is, if we say this, and then this, and then this, then this number four is going to make more sense, okay? So, number four says that angle A plus angle B plus 90 degrees is 180 degrees. Because C is 90, and we know that the three of them are 180, then that means that angle A and B must also be 90. See how we slowly did that to prove that? So let's look at 4. The reason that angle A and B plus this 90 equals 180 is not only because the whole thing has to equal 180, but the substitution principle which states a quantity may be substituted for its equivalent in an expression. That's why 90 is here instead of C, okay? So now that we've proven that A and B have to be 90 because that's 90. We state it here. Angle A plus B is equal to 90. And our reasoning is angle addition, which says if equal quantities are added to equal quantities, their sums are also equal. Okay? If that's 90, then these have to be 90 to make the 180, right? So now here's our proof that we were trying to prove that A and B are complementary. So now we can state that. And our reasoning is the definition of complementary angles. Two angles whose sums measure equal 90 are complementary. So we've gone boom, 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 and slowly, slowly proved that angle A and B are complementary, complementary angles. That is the right, angle, right triangle proof. Copy this down. Draw the picture if you have to. If you save all my proofs, you'll be able to use them in homework or to study for tests so that you'll be able to do your reasons coming straight down. And believe it or not, eventually these reasons are going to become second nature to you. I know it's hard to believe, but they will. You're going to go, boom, oh, I can use this one and that one, and you'll just remember these. So it's not necessary to write this part of the reasons. If you just write substitution principle, your teacher or whoever should know that that's what you're saying. Okay, so our next video is going to be the parts of a right triangle and Pythagoras. See you then.